Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing a video all about zodiac signs. So this is going to include your sun, your moon and your rising. And this is going to be all about looks and your face, facial, mainly around the face and the hair, um, about what you look like. So this is going to be a video all about what you look like as your zodiac signs. So as I say, this can be to do with your sun, your moon, and your rising. So if any of them don't resonate, then be sure to check out your sun, your moon, and your rising. And I'll put a calculator down below if you don't know any of those planets in your chart. So let's start off with Aries and let's go. So let's start off with Aries sun slash moon slash rising. <laughs> Hello Aries. So for you guys, if you are an Aries sun, moon, or rising, for you guys, your looks would more be to do with your eyes and your lips. So for you guys, if this doesn't resonate, as I say, check out your moon, your rising, and your sun all together. So for you guys, your eyes will be the most central element. You would normally have deeper set eyes, your eyebrows will be slightly arched, and your lips will be more voluptuous or larger. You also have a oval face most of the time or quite a small face. So, so say if you are Aries, the next sign along is Taurus. So you will be quite similar looking to a Taurus. So every time I mention a sign next to it, they'll most likely have very similar characteristics. So your moon, say if your moon is in Taurus and your sun is in Aries or either or, you will look quite similar for each of those elements, but there are slight different elements for each one. Also a lot of Aries normally have darker hair as well and darker eyebrows. So that is your sign. So if that resonates, let me know and let's go on to the next sign. Hello Taurus. So for you guys, I feel like you guys will have a more intense stare. So if you are a female Taurus sun moon rising, you will have more of a softer face. Men normally tend to have quite a more dominant intense face. You can just kind of tell just by looking at them that they will have this kind of intense stare. But with females, because they're more of the feminine, more of the kind of connecting to Gaia, to nature, you guys will more have a softer face and you guys will be more connected to that kind of softer water element rather than the intense kind of earthy element. But you will still have more of a intense, sharper face being a Taurus that you are, obviously depending on your sun, moon and rising. Women also have a softer jaw being a Taurus and men, Tauruses will have a stronger jaw. So that is for you guys. Also your hair might be quite prominent and your forehead might be something that's quite prominent as well. So it might be something that you notice more about yourself being a Taurus. So thank you so much for watching. If it resonates, let me know and let's go on to the next sign. Hello Gemini. So this might be your moon, sun or your rising just to let you know, make sure to check out your other signs. So for Geminis, you guys seem to switch between two, obviously those two personality things, but it's mainly because you guys have um, kind of choices whether you wanna look like two different types of people. So you can have more of an intense element to you guys or you can have more of a softer element. So for you guys, there are lots of different types of Geminis. You guys don't normally have a specific element to you guys, but you do like to accessorize your face and your body. So you guys could have tattoos, you could have nose piercing, earrings, you could have rings, you like to wear accessories or jewellery, you might like to wear fake lashes, um, extensions, dye your hair, like there's something that you want to adjust about yourself a lot of the time. Sometimes it can come in plastic surgery as well, but I do feel like for you guys, it can be something that you want to adjust. And it may be you look at other people and idols and think I want to look like that and you may kind of adjust your look to that certain idol or you might idolise a certain person and want to look like that certain certain person. Also for you guys, I feel like your nose would be angled down a lot of the time. So when you smile, your nose will be angled down more. And also you guys tend to have larger mouths and larger teeth as well, or just like a bigger mouth and bigger lips basically. So if that resonates to you guys, let me know and on to the next sign. So for my lovely Cancerians, for you guys, you guys are probably one of the most prominent I feel when I notice you guys. So for me personally, when I notice you guys, you're the ones I notice the most. You would have more of a rounder face, especially if you guys have Leo in your chart somewhere very prominently. If you have Leo moon, if you have Leo sun cancer moon, you know, if it's swapped, whatever, if they're quite close together, 
uh, you would have a very, very round face. So because Leos tend to have round faces as well, um, you guys would have that. And because Leos like the next sign along, you guys would be quite similar in features as well, obviously depending on the placements. So one of the things that are really prominent about you guys are your eyes. You would have mainly blue eyes, specifically if you are Cancerian Sun. And also your eyes, you normally blink in slow motion or you would have something significant about your eyes. So longer eyelashes, or your eyes will kind of be slanted upwards or slanted down as well. If you don't have blue colored eyes, you would normally have like brighter eyes. So blue, green, like a brighter kind of color. So that is for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. If it resonates, let me know and on to the next sign. So Leo, very similar to Cancerians, you guys will have quite bright eyes. You would normally have a bigger hair and a rounder face. So similar to Cancerians, you would have the bright eyes and the rounder face, especially if you have Cancer Sun, Leo Moon, you know, that kind of thing, or rising. Um, for you guys, your hair is something that's very, very noticeable. So you'd normally have bigger hair, thick hair, blonde hair, something that's very kind of noticeable. Normally you guys would have quite large hair. So you probably have thicker hair or hair that's just very, very noticeable. So a lot of people notice, that's probably the thing that people notice more most about you, that or the shape of your face. Also for you guys, you would have more of a noticeable forehead. So most likely your hair will be pushed back a lot of the time. Therefore you would notice your forehead. That might be the style that you prefer. It can also be that your forehead is like longer and your face is more kind of squished more towards the middle of your face. So your features are more in the middle of your face, but your forehead will be mostly noticeable. So it might be more forward, um, but you may just notice that more about yourself. That may just be something that you notice. So if that resonates, let me know and on to the next sign. Hello Virgos. So for you guys, you would have a smaller head, quite similar to Pisces. You guys would normally have like a smaller head. You have a very similar energy to Pisces in some ways where your energy is quite light because you're more of a watery earth sign. So you would have kind of like those similar kind of energies to a Pisces. Your hair would normally be darker as well. You prefer to have your hair natural, um, not so many kind of tattoos, piercings. You probably wouldn't want to wear a lot of jewelry as well, especially being a female, um, just because I feel like you guys prefer to have your kind of natural bodies as well. Obviously this depends on your sun, moon and your rising. So similar to Scorpio, you may have quite intense eyebrows. I'm a Scorpio, I have like the kind of arch in my eyebrows. You guys might have that as well. And a lot of you guys tend to have darker brown hair as well, like dark brown hair or black hair seems to be a kind of similar feature for you guys as Virgos. So you might also have quite delicate features. So darker makeup, I feel like wouldn't really be your thing. But obviously it depends on each person, as I said, but for you guys, I feel like you prefer to have more lighter makeup, more lighter tones, golden tones, brown tones, that sort of thing. So thank you so much for watching and on to the next time. Bye. Hello, my lovely Libras. So for you guys, your hair will be something very, very prominent. So you may have it in a certain style for quite a long time but you will be quite attentive to that style. So say if you have long hair, you'll most likely have it for most of your life. Short hair, you'll mostly have it for the rest of your life. And I think it's because you guys like to kind of have a set kind of way. And once, it's, once you figure out what suits you, you'll kind of stick to it. A lot of you guys will normally have deep set eyes and smaller lips. So your eyes will be the things that are most accentuated. So you may tend to line your eyes to kind of accentuate those as well. So for you guys, you will have very young skin. So you'll most likely look very young. Uh, you'll most likely look like younger than your age, especially as you grow older, you will look younger. For most of you guys, you will be on the shorter side as well, being that kind of young energy and your skin will most likely be very clear. I don't feel like you guys will struggle with acne a lot of the time. Um, obviously, as I say, depends on your moon, sun and rising. And obviously it depends on you as a person too. Um, but I feel like you guys will definitely um, have more of like a younger youthful look. Your skin will be glowing a lot of the time or have a very kind of like glowy energy to you. Therefore, it will kind of radiate with your skin. So I feel like for you guys, depending on what you eat, but I feel like for you guys, you could literally eat anything and your skin would still be have, have that really pretty glow. So thank you so much for watching. If it resonates, let me know and on to the next sign. Hello, my fellow Scorpios. So for you guys, I feel like for you guys, you will have more, this is the T, you will have more of a oval shaped head. Some people say, a penis shaped head, okay? So this isn't to offend any of you guys. I'm Scorpio, okay, I'm calling myself got penis shaped head, all right? 
but this is definitely something that is about your sign because you are the most sensual, sexual, intense sign. You will have that kind of intense element to your face. For a lot of you guys, you will have intense eyes. Your eyes will be very, very intense. So if someone stares at you and you can most likely pick up that they're probably a water sign or an earth sign because they have those intense stares because they're normally, the intensity will come out from their personality. So being a Scorpio, you'll have that kind of intensity. And also for you guys, your eyebrows will be very, very prominent. So for me, I have that kind of like arch. A lot of you guys will have that as well. And your eyebrows will most likely be quite thin or your hair will be quite fine. Therefore, your eyebrows will be thinner and normally on the lighter side as well. So they're normally in terms of lighter, the um, the shape will be lighter. So thinner eyes, uh, sorry, thinner, thinner eyebrows. You might have thinner eyes as well. And also for you guys, your eyebrows will be just something that's quite prominent. So it may be your eyes and your eyebrows that people will notice about you or will give you compliments about you as well. You guys have quite large smiles as well. So if you have a big mouth or your smile will be the most, the most prominent part about you. So for you guys, in terms of your nose, it will mainly be pointing up or down more prominently. Like it will be something that's quite prominent about your face. So it's something that you will significantly notice about you. It won't be very straight. I feel like for a lot of you guys, it'll be mainly pointed down or up. And also you guys will have a very sassy face. So in photos, you'll probably look either kind of miserable or really sassy, like you're almost posing for a photo, but not actually meaning to. So it'll be kind of a natural thing because you guys have such intensity that when you, even when you just kind of stare at the camera or just kind of look at someone, there'll be that essence kind of radiating off of you. So thank you so much for watching guys. And if it resonates, let me know and I'll speak to you soon. Bye bye. Hello, my lovely Sagittarius. So similar to Scorpios, you guys will have a oval face. A lot of the time your features will be spread quite along across your face. So you wouldn't really have that much of a bigger forehead. It mainly be your eyes, your nose and your mouth will be stretched quite far along your face. So for you guys, that'll mean that your face is more oval. You would also most likely have a larger head as well. For some reason, Sagittarius do tend to have larger heads. And for also you guys may have larger eyes. So this will be obviously depend on your sun, moon rising, as I said, but I feel like for you guys, your eyes will be something that will be quite prominent. I feel like eye makeup might be a little bit of a struggle for you guys, depending on obviously your face shape and obviously depending on the person. But for some of you guys, you can struggle with either the color or kind of the smokiness or the smudging. And if you do have deeper set eyes, it can be quite a struggle to kind of find that balance between too much eyeshadow or not enough eyeshadow. So that is you. <laughs> it resonates, let me know and I'll see you soon. Bye bye. Hello, my beautiful Capricorns. So for you guys, I'm gonna talk about the males first because I feel like with males, you guys tend to have longer hair as males. So out of all the star signs, it seems to be Capricorns like to have longer hair. They kind of like to let their hair down, you know, literally. And they also tend to have a lot of facial hair or their facial hair is quite prominent. Like they don't tend to be clean shaven a lot of the time. They tend to have this kind of like rocker look or quite like a natural look. So for all of you guys, I feel like you guys tend to have darker hair. So this will be actually your hair on your head, your eyebrows. You guys tend to have quite intense eyebrows as well. So if you're gonna look at a Capricorn, you can mainly see their eyebrows and their eyes will have more of an intense stare because of it. So your eyebrows will almost be like an owl shape where they'll kind of go up and out. Um, a lot of you guys, especially if you are a male, you will have thicker eyebrows. Obviously, it depends on the person as well. Also depends on your sun, moon and rising. For those of you, especially Capricorn rising, you'll have more of a kind of cool stare. So if you're gonna like pose photos or if you're looking at somebody, you'll probably look like you're being really, really serious, but I think it's just your look. <laughs> like you have this really cool, like kind of I can handle this kind of look. And even if you are a Capricorn sun or moon, you'll definitely still have this as well, but mainly if you are a Capricorn rising, because obviously that is what people mainly see when they look at you, first of all. But you definitely have this kind of cool stare and black clothing will really, really suit you because it will kind of bring this out and it's a very sexy quality as well. It kind of accentuates all of your features because the black, the dark, Similar to Scorpios really, that black kind of accentuates all those features and kind of brings them out, especially if you do have darker hair, like especially if you have dark brown hair or black hair. So that is for you guys. Uh, thank you so much for watching. And if this resonates, let me know and I'll speak to you soon. Bye bye. Hello, my beautiful Aquarius. So for you guys, I have noticed that Aquariuses tend to have a rounder shaped face 
but kind of kind of similar to Cancerians and Leos, but you guys will more have a light bulb shaped face. So it's kind of not so much round, it can kind of come out. It's more like an oval, but tipped sideways. <laughs> so for you guys, you can have more of a rounder face and a skinnier neck. So it's more like a light bulb shape. So it's kind of like accentuated. Your neck will normally be thinner and smaller and your face will normally be rounder and kind of like outward. Therefore your eyes will normally be quite prominent, quite large. For you guys, you also tend to have lighter makeup because for you guys, you like to prefer to be more natural. You prefer, prefer to kind of have like lighter makeup that will kind of accentuate your eyes. A lot of you guys tend to be blonde as well, natural blondes and have lighter colored eyes as well, specifically blue and green. So for you guys, you may prefer to have a swooped back hairstyle. Also having your hair kind of up and away from your face will really accentuate your features, especially because you have that gorgeous shaped head that really kind of brings up your features, especially if you have your hair up or in a bun or in a hair, like a pony, that will really, really suit your face shape, especially because it will kind of bring everything up. And it's just a very natural kind of way for you to kind of express yourself. I feel like for you guys, you prefer to have natural anything anyway, like natural kind of clothing. You prefer to go more towards the organic range, more veganism, that sort of thing that just kind of came intuitively. But if that resonates, then let me know. Uh, thank you so much for watching, guys. And I'll speak to you soon. Bye -bye. Hello my beautiful Pisces. So for you guys, you have noticeably a smaller head. So I've noticed that a lot of Pisces tend to have smaller heads. They tend to have bright blue eyes as well, specifically like Cancerians, they tend to have brighter blue eyes. I feel like Scorpios don't really have this, so it's quite interesting to see. But I feel like mainly Cancerians and Pisces will have this element to them. And for you guys, you have a kind of lighter childlike energy to you therefore it will reflect in your face so you may be quite on the smaller side or you may be on the taller side but still have that kind of smaller childlike almost childlike sized head but it will obviously match up to your body but you will significantly normally have a smaller head a lot of you guys will probably tend to work towards a shorter hairstyle you prefer prefer to have your hair kind of out of your face or just have like a smaller like shorter hairstyle because it will, it will reflect more in your face. And for you guys, you'll also have a cheeky or a cute smile that people will really kind of gravitate towards because you've got that like beautiful, like childlike energy. And for you guys, I've noticed that Pisces tend to have thinner hair. So instead of it'll be like the texture of it will be more fine. And a lot of you guys tend to have more kind of dusty colored hair. So it might be like a dirty blonde, dusty brown, that kind of thing. For some of you guys, you might tend to dye your hair blonde or go for a lighter color because I feel like that will accentuate your blue eyes especially if your hair color is naturally brown so thank you so much for watching guys and I'll speak to you soon bye bye